Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. This is Guanajuato. Pretty much my favorite Mexican city. Really interesting place and we're just getting started. This is a narrow little ridge. It goes down over there and over here on the left, it goes down into the valley that the uh, city of Guanajuato is nestled in. There are all these different walkways, as you saw right over there. It was going down again right here. And look at that absolutely epic view. But I'm going to walk down the street here. I will be walking past my Airbnb that I showed, just up here on the left. A, a nice place, a little bit expensive, $50 a night. I just kind of like the look of the place, but uh, you can definitely find much cheaper Airbnbs in Mexico. By comparison, when I was in Zacatecas earlier in the year, I had an Airbnb for $14 a night. That wasn't all that much different from what I have there. About the same size. Didn't have the uh, separate bedroom, but uh, not bad for $14 a night. One drawback of this one here is it doesn't get the sunshine shining on it. And so it's cold. It is late November, but uh, still warm during the afternoon, but it gets cold at night and then the uh, apartment never quite warms up. But uh, anyway, a amazing view and a very cute little authentic Mexican apartment just up here on the left. That's the apartment right there. And then it's a bit of a walk down the steep hill into the city and then things are going to get a lot more interesting. This city is phenomenal. It is an absolute maze of winding lanes, plazas, restaurants, cute little shops, street musicians, cathedrals, so quintessentially Mexican. It was a major mining center. At one point, two thirds of the world's silver was being mined out of Guanajuato here. And so this is my second time here. I was last here a year and a half ago. Glad to be back, but I'm just here for another couple of days and then flying to another part of Mexico that I haven't been to before and I'm very excited to see. But uh, just wanted to capture this fascinating Mexican city while I'm here. Going to uh, continue down at the uh, bottom of the hill as we get deeper into the city of Guanajuato. And here you can uh, get off the main street, sort of, and go down one of the lovely little lanes. And this is where it starts to get just really interesting. It is a Monday afternoon. So it's probably not going to be as happening as it was when I arrived here on Saturday, but uh, let's find out. One of the many plazas. And so last night, Sunday evening, there were tons of street uh, vendors right here. And here's one of the tunnels. So part of the history of Guanajuato, because of the uh, mining, restroom, seven pesos, that is less than 50 cents. And so check this out. You have all of these tunnels that are now roads that were the tunnels that were carved out as part of the mining operations. So that is part of the character of the city.
And so I'm just going to uh, wander through the uh, main streets here. This is kind of the uh, center of things. Although there is a uh, main square that I'll get to in the course of this video. This whole area here is the old town of Guanajuato. The more modern part of the city spreads out from here and isn't nearly as nice. Something smells really good. It has kind of a uh, sweet smell to it. Could have been that street food there. And so there are plenty of people out and about. $7.99. That is not dollars. They use the same dollar symbol for the Mexican peso as we use for the US dollar. But there are currently 20 pesos to one US dollar. And so $7.99 pesos, that is actually $40 US for that hotel there. Fruit salad. And so you can see basically everyone wearing a mask. I'm not actually sure if it's officially required. I don't have mine on at the moment, but I got it here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on. Ah, dinero? De Nicaragua. Si. Sí. Sí. Thank you. Okay. Gracias. Muy bien. Adios. I had some uh, cash in my pocket for street musicians, so. One uh, major problem with the masks is if you're wearing the sunglasses, you fog up your sunglasses. And it's rather annoying, so. And so there are lots of great street cafes here. And beautiful churches. And on the right here, this place, Michoacana, has the best horchata that I've had. I'm a big horchata fan. Horchata is a Mexican rice drink. Basically rice milk with uh, sugar and cinnamon and sometimes various other ingredients. Take a quick look inside. And so it's definitely not as happening as it was over the weekend. This is some sort of virus cleansing thing, but it just kind of like squirts a little water at you. I don't think it's doing much. So we have here the Hotel San Diego. And on the right, the San Diego Church. And Union Garden. 
This is basically the uh, main plaza, the central point of Guanajuato. Very uh, unique statue here. Unfortunately, with a mask on it. Juarez Theater and this lovely garden nicely shaded Guanajuato Zona de Monumentos Patrimonio de la Humanidad Great spot for an afternoon lunch. Nice and cool. And up there you can barely see there is a funicular going up to the top of the hill there. And see that statue up there. And I want to show some more of the tunnels out this way. Get another shot of this uh, quite spectacular church and very old. Teatro Juarez, just saw that, San Diego. Here is the uh, back of the church. You can go to the funicular around there. And then another one of the tunnels. So cool, you're in the middle of a town and yet deep in a tunnel. And the interesting thing about this one is that there is a junction With the sign, I think you have no choice, you have to go left, but uh, there you go, Teatro Juarez, Jardin de la Union, where I just was, historical center. And so here's the funicular. Quanto cuesta funicular? Twenty. Gracias. Thirty pesos, a dollar fifty. They have the uh, really cool skulls. Hola, buenas tardes.
La Ruta del Quixote. I wonder if that is referring to Don Quixote. More about that in a minute. Victor Gutierrez. Oh, Don Quixote. So this is Don Quixote from the classic novel. Again, I will talk more about that in just a minute. Another gorgeous church. It is definitely a very different atmosphere from when I was here on a Saturday afternoon. But I wasn't ready to start the uh, filming yet, so it goes. But still, you get the uh, general feel of this absolutely just lovely city with so much character, so much to explore. There are just so many different ways to go, different uh, lanes to wander down and various very unique shops, cafes, restaurants, plazas, statues, and these just classic, classic old historical buildings. Hello. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank Good. You. Where, where are you from? Uh, we are uh, Japanese. You're German? Uh, Japanese, Japan. Japanese, yes, that's, that's what I thought. On vacation? Uh, no, uh, just, uh, uh, we uh, uh, stay here. You, you live in Guanajuato? Very cool. Adios. And so, speaking of Don Quixote, when I made my video here last year, I wasn't sure who these two statues were of. Don Quixote is considered by many to be one of the, if not the, best novel ever written. I've done a lot of reading. I was a voracious reader when I was a kid. Read lots of the classics, but I never read Don Quixote. And so, here he is on the right. I was just reading about it online, the book. And so the story is Don Quixote gets a idea in his head about how chivalry and knighthood should come back again. Even though at that time, in like the, I guess, 17th century, then it is outdated even by then. But he goes on this quest as a knight. You can see he's dressed up as a knight. And he has this sidekick, Sancho Panza, who goes along with him and kind of humors him. And I guess he just kind of has all kinds of adventures and it's kind of simultaneously comic, yet tragic, humorous, and a commentary on society and the individual and fantasy and delusion and various themes. So it sounds like a great book that I need to read sometime. And there you can see Teatro Cervantes, the author, Cervantes. What a lovely day in late November. Nice and warm, now that I'm out of the apartment. Corona, the good Corona.
I think there are some interesting uh, murals in here. Bienvenidos, welcome. Taquero mucho. Five for 80. Five tacos for four dollars. And this is just kind of so classic of Guanajuato to have all these different shops. Each one unique. Library. Grape and tea. And another lovely plaza. Yard sale. But I'd get up the hill here, get a bit of a view. Love the old VWs. Another tunnel. How deep does it go? Wow, pretty damn deep. You can't see the end. Crazy. All right, and we got some uh, steps. Let's take the steps. Oh. 
old and new. Check it out. They're both UW bugs. Somebody was smoking some serious wacky tobacco back in those uh, lanes there. Speaking of which, I guess it was just legalized by the Mexican government. And he's going into effect like next month, I think. Countrywide. Pretty amazing. All right, where's that viewpoint? Calle Sarada. Street closed. And a random horse. And from there, you can see the uh, top of the hill where the funicular goes and the statue. So. And so this is the Templo de la Calzada de Guadalupe. And so the battery ran out on my DJI Osmo that I was filming with before because I didn't charge it up all the way. So I switched over to my uh, Sony camera. So it's gonna be a little bit shakier. And the half moon out there. Hola, señor. And what of you there? I love the mix of the colors of the buildings. Some colorful, some plain, all a bit tattered. but definitely not lacking in character. Even the doors are interesting. Hola, senor. A little shrine here. I guess it had a water spout right there, probably. And I'm curious to find out where I will end up as I go down this lane here. Up ahead it says Carniceria La Calzada. That was the name of the church. La Calzada. And look at this mural. I only found this just now because I saw this little shrine over here. And decided to investigate. And then, voila. And wow, look at that view.
And there is the uh, plaza with the big G for Guanajuato, where I was before. Let's go this way. And yet another fountain with no water. And a low rider. Plaza de la Paz, Casa Varellas, Universidad de Guanajuato. So I just walked down from up here. Those tunnels are quite fascinating and well constructed and a good way to uh, ease the traffic jams, get people under the city. There's the big G. And there are some nice plazas back in here. In fact, this is where I ate the night before last. Right here. Got some good enchiladas, guacamole, y horchata. All right, so this is what this video was missing, is some local music.